day is uh, uh, do something that I do up at the cab occasionally in the long evenings when there's no television or radio for entertainment. Uh, the songs and stories of the Yukon always come to mind, and I do uh, a couple of Robert Service poems. One of the easiest ways to memorize these poems, and I'm always asked how you manage to memorize a poem, is of course I'd memorize them while I was tying flies. And if you tie a thousand rusty rats, quote a poem at the same time, you get to kind of judge poetry and the fly in the same time. So I'm going to attempt to do that today. The poem will do is the cremation of San McGee by Robert Service, and the fly is a rusty rat. They both start here, and it goes that there are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night in the marriage of Lake LaBarge when I cremated Sam McGee. Now, Sam McGee was from Tennessee where the cotton blooms and blows, where I left his home in the south to roam around the pole, God only knows. He was always cold, but the land of the gold seemed to hold him like a spell. He'd often say in his hateful way that he'd sooner live in hell. On Christmas Day, we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Talk of the cold through the parka's folded stab like a driven nail. With our eyes we closed and the lashes froze till we could hardly see. And it was no fun, but the only one who whimpered was Sam McGee. That self-same night as we lay packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, the dogs were fed and the stars overhead, they were dancing heel and toe. He turns to me and cash, says he, I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I'm hoping that you won't refuse my last request. Well, he looked so low that I couldn't say no. And he said with a sort of a moan, he said it's the cursed cold and it's taken right hold and I'm chilled right through to the bone. But it ain't being dead to me awful dread of an icy grave that pains. And I want you to swear that foul or fair, you'll cremate my last remains. Now a friend's last need is a thing to heed. And I said that I wouldn't fail. We started on the crack of dawn, my God, he was ghastly pale. He clung to the sleigh and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. And by nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. Well, a promise made is a debt unpaid. The trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were numb and my heart, how I cursed that load. The long, long night by the lone firelight, while the huskies round in a ring, howled out their woes to the frozen snows. My God, but I cursed that thing. And every day that lump of clay seemed to heavy and heavier grow. But on we went, though the dogs were spent, and the grub was running low. The trail was bad, and I got half mad, but I just would not give in. And I'd often sing to that hateful thing, and it hearkened with a grin. Till I came to the marge of Lake LaBarge, and there a derelict lay. It was jammed in the ice I could see in a thrice. It was named the Alice May. I looked at it, I thought for a bit. I looked at me frozen chum. This here, said I, with a sudden cry, is me crematorium. Well, some planks I tore from the cabin floor, and I lit the boiler fire. Some coal I found that was laying around, and I heaped the fuel higher. The furnace roared, the flames they soared, such a blaze you'll seldom see. And I burrowed a hole in the glowing coal, and I stuffed in Sam McGee. Then I went for a hike, because I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. The heaven scowled, the huskies howled, the wind began to blow. It was icy cold, but the hot sweat rolled down my cheeks, and I don't know why. And the greasy smoke, like an inky cloak, went streaking down the sky. Now, I do not know how long in that snow I wrestled with grizzly fear. The stars came out, and they danced about. Ere again, I ventured near. I was filled with dra dread, <coughs> excuse me, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peek inside. I guess he's cooked, and the time I looked, and the door I opened wide, well, there sat Sam, looking cool and calm in the heart of the furnace roar. He was wearing a smile you could see a mile, and he said, please close that door. He said, it's fine in here, but I greatly fear that you'll let in the cold and the storm, and since you left Plum Tree down in Tennessee, it's the first time I've been warm. Now, there's strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic tales have their secret tales, make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was the night in the marriage of Lake LaBarge when I cremated Sam 